I'm back, and the chicken cordon bleu is delicious. Um, so yesterday, we discovered we're ruining Greg and uh, Angus's life. But the good news is we are ruining it less now. Probably. We didn't investigate the ghost for some reason, which I thought was going to be what we were doing. Come pick your fight. Yeah, I don't... I don't like... I don't like Angus's away messages. Hey, kid! Stack falconing! Work, work, work! Die, 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 die! Hey, my pickaxe it at me. You know the drill. I want to go do the ghost thing, guys. Why, why are we not doing the ghost thing? I mean, the tooth. I figured that's where this was all headed. I mean, I assume it still is, but I mean, maybe... There's a certain amount of, like, regular stuff you gotta see. In between the paranormal stuff. I don't know. Whee! Uh, oh god. What do you want? What's going on? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that army you guys found a few days back. That was like two weeks ago, dude! Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested in all. Parker, please sit down. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. Medium build. He was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always like detective stories when you were a kid. Is it like, okay to tell me that from an ongoing investigation? This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost. Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. That's right, Parker. Let's just double check that Duder isn't here. It seems like it's every couple days, yeah. Realistic pigeon noises. Hmm. Parky. I wonder if there's anything new here. It's been a few days, so. Miss Angels, are they? Wait, 19. Middle aged. That's interesting. So it wasn't Charlie if it was a. or a Hartley if it was a middle aged man. lady offends me. I don't know why. Hold on. I need to lock the keyboard. Um, um, how do I do this again? <clears throat> it's like alt control L. All right. Yeah. Keyboard locked. I will then forget to unrecord because of this, but whatever. <clears throat> Rest in pieces, party barn. I... We, should, we, we did a Greg thing last time, so we're going to do the thing. We're going to do a what's-your-face thing, I guess. Wait. Wait, did we pass? Wait, where did she work again? Wait, it's an option to go in, in the apartment again now? That's usually closed. What's up, Angus? My legs are still sore from running for that dude. That was two days ago. I'm just sore in general. And tired, in general. My life doesn't involve a lot of running. <laughs> I feel like it should have some sort of clever con to follow that up with. You can get back to me. Yeah, I kind of wish like stores and stuff had like video game background music, no lyrics, because like I don't know, they, you know, they always have like top forty crap, and it's like. It's like, baby, oh baby, you're a baby, I want to fuck you, baby, yeah. It's like, I don't know, those people really need to calm down about babies. It's pretty disturbing. What's up, B? 
Whoa, whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Bad. I mean, since this happened, I don't feel like rested in the morning. I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is gonna explode. So we're gonna go explore the ghost thing, right? I was looking forward to the ghost thing. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Home. You still want to check out the graveyard? Hell yeah! Actually, yeah, let's do it. The graveyard. It's spooky time, my friends. I'm so torn on splitting this if it goes, like, over 15 minutes or not. It's like the last couple episodes are kind of too long, in my opinion. But also important, but... I always got that f evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here real round. Oh, you want the belly pets. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Parker wants the belly pets. Oh, don't bite. I thought you wanted the belly pets. Yes. Well, there's the statue. <laughs> it's literally that guy. It's the construction worker Birdman with this exact beard. I like, thought you were actually kind of afraid. Afraid? I thought you'd be kind of afraid. I am. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So we wait here. Yeah. And a girl shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in a power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. <laughs> Corporate skeletons or the, no, governmental skeletons. I don't know. Do you guys consider government skeletons or corporate skeletons to be scarier? Something to think about. Obviously, corporate government skeletons would top the list, but... Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? Skeleton in your hallway, not... A skeleton outside your window. A regular strange stranger outside your window. He's smiling. Oh, he's from the bank? Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. I love when things have little text effects like that. The scariest stuff is all like really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. Like, what are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. Spooky glow! I saw that spooky glow. You can't... Fireflies are not red. Fireflies are, are, are yellow. They are innocent and pure. What is this red glow business? Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool. I'll take out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying where you couldn't get back to the dinosaur. It's like... something I know about. It's not very complicated. Jesus. Cool. I'll meet you back here then. Let's check out a grave or three. How do you make a whole class on dying? Where to die? Best ways to die. How you can die today. Cheapest ways to die. The most eco-friendly way to die. Nah, that'd be awkward. Oh. Literally required to do the awkward thing. Hey, B. Hey. Hi. Is this... Yup. Oh. Yup. Am I supposed to be able to do something that's not awkward? Can I check these out? I thought I was going to be able to check out the graves. I don't get it. Aw, oh, suddenly guitar. Spooky guitar. I can't triple jump here. Why? Why this? Oh! Rosie, age 95 years. Dang! <laughs> Standard head sound. Nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years. Wow. 
She was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to look out the window to see a horse. Now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. I've bought every horse I've ever seen. I didn't know that would still be relevant. She saw... She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Yeah, it's a pretty decent run. Dramatic graveyard music. Yeah, I don't think this is how leaves work, frankly. Catherine Fish, taken by flu, 14 years old. God damn. Oh dang, lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. I mean, I'm pretty sure 14 year olds can talk. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. I'm sure someone 14 is like watching this video right now. They're probably very offended. Brad Boyson. As opposed to, like, Grad Girlson. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. Why would they put what killed you on your gravestone? Like, that would be... <laughs> that would be screwed up. It's like a cutie mark for your death. This guy was really good at getting hit by cars. The best. It was his special talent. He smooched it. So right. Mmm. Baby. Yeah, let me touch your handlebars. Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok and Beatrice. Don't be a dick, May. <laughs> exactly! Holy crap, I am a jerk. Alright, so I assume that is my... The indication that the Go Talk to B flag has been set. And we can go talk to B. Hey, B. Oh, don't... That's one thing about controlling 2D games with an analog stick, if you let the stick go, I guess it's more of a 360 controller thing in general, but like, you let the go the stick go when it's at far right, and then it resets and it jiggles just a bit to the left, and you end up facing left, like after walking right, it's weird. Anyway. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... Uh, you don't know how... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hell. So I was worried. Uh, like you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What part of a sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, they shouldn't build towns that flood. Yet here we are. Okay, you ready? Yeah, what hour's down there? I think I heard music from the top of the hill. I think the B, that's just well, that's just the environmental music, B. Don't break the fourth wall. Voices. That's, huh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. Now we can go up here. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, my town floods. We're, we're right near a very big river. Um, but, uh, it's just the downtown. My house is kind of on, like, the tallest, like, part of the town, so, like... I'm pretty sure, like, most of America would be dead before my house drowns. Or, like, gets flooded. Like, flooded, flooded. Aw, oh, that's the Goths. Look at how creepy you are! Oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers. Teens. They're weird teens. Oh. All right, well, where are the capers at the gate? There's a literal gate you're standing in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass to the realms of the dead. Okay, fine, whatever. Get on with that. First question, have you ever done it? Go fuck yourself. You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Uh, I'm gonna guess no for me, honestly. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer for 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This is when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ah, oh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go into like math stuff and camp stuff. Apparently have lots of sex? I should have gone to math camp. 
It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, the, the sex was a C minus, but the the math just right. This is boring. Next question. Trey is fine. Describe your dream date. What? What is this? Is this fucking? Am I filling out my dating profile here? These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Oh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. As in, you're gonna wrestle your date? I was just about to ask that. Like, you're gonna wrestle your date or you're gonna watch wrestling? We go to see. I could wrestle. Both. Both at the same time. You're wrestling your date at a wrestling match. And one of the props in the wrestling match is a TV showing a third wrestling match. No, it's actually focused on you two wrestling, and then they use the TV to like hit one of the other guys. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or girl, but they'd have to be like, grr. Because I don't want to date someone who's not grr. So you're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool, and we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. I can deal without the bleeding part. I try not to get, like, dangerous infections or, like, break any bones on my dates. That's just me, though. I'm kind of an old-fashioned guy. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? This exact moment. What? Just go with it. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> That's it. What are you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Oh, uh, oh god. One time in junior high. One time in high school. One time in college. Oh man, I want to know all three! Frig. Junior. Wait, what is junior high? Is that like... What is junior... Is that middle school? I went to the same, like, K through 8 school. Like, so, it's weird to me when people are like, oh, this is, like, something totally different. The most awkward stuff always happens in high school, though, so we're gonna go with that. What's the problem with this guy, Cole? Oh, wow, I've been waiting for this story for years. Oh, yes, I picked the best one! And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress. And I couldn't slow dance. Slow dancing is easy. It's really nice and stuff, I guess. I tried to kiss him. Parker, you're obscuring the mic. But somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. How do you screw up that heart? What? That is intense. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this gas? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. And I'm shoving his paper towels into his mouth. And I over and he starts choking and fighting back. What the fuck is your problem? Oh my god. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I sold them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. What the fuck? How are, how, are, how are you a person, May? So I'm like plowing through these almonds and one gets caught in my throat. Poor girl was slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to get myself the Heimlich maneuver. And it works, but I you all over Cole. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I don't know what my most embarrassing thing in life was, but it wasn't a tenth that embarrassing. <laughs> Chicken corn on blue! I just said that! <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> right when someone walks in and sees Jill cold, dazed, and bleeding and choking, <laughs> and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. I'm sorry, I can't stop. Fuck. <laughs> so I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. And for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet. <laughs> and that makes it overflow. So I grabbed Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my right. How'd you get home? The kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom. So we're driving slowly to my house. Car is slowing down and honking. 
while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. I'm crying too, May. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's seriously messed up. May I? I have nightmares about it like once a week. I would too, <laughs> holy shit. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked high school. There's absolutely no way any of the others are a half as good. Holy shit. If anyone does know what the other ones are, do let me know in the comments, though. I'm always... I hate missing stuff. Nobody's gonna stop that. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. <laughs> okay, let's pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. I love this palette right now, by the way. The creepy blue glow. And the red ominousness. <laughs> that was amazing. So, like, ghosts. <laughs> yeah, ghosts. Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, like, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it, but like, did you ever see my mom? Uh, not that I recall. I mean, I can't really tell. I don't think the ghosts were like people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened to people that were there. Oh. Trust me, none of the places look like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. Haha, <laughs> that's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Anyway, the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Ugh, why did it make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and stop what you're probably gonna do. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll never know for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost! I'm just the driver! Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Okay, so... Bloop! <coughs> so I'm gonna see the ghost while I'm over here and Peaches is gonna see shit. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ah, oh, B, just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Wait, I'm breaking the gate. Oh, tree time! Hello, Mr. Tree. I see you've lived a complete and fulfilling life, but, uh... uh <clears throat> you're gonna have to get broken. <laughs> Whatever works. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. It's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you I'm good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Ugh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave, and if he does show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, man. I just destroyed something! Like, it's too late, dude! Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Alright. Oh, my jump button has been taken away from me. Ah, oh, I should've split this. It's too late now, though. Is this little Joe? Joe Shade? Yeah, this is him. I guess she's all swampy. Ah, oh, gross. So what are you gonna do here? I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghosts. Oh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cold, May. I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. What? Oh. Great ghost over there? No B, you'd know, I'd say. Haha, oh, okay. Oh, organ music. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Nah, what? So there's nothing. Wow, it's nothing. Oh, well, we have to investigate these. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they've ever buried horses in people in graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. What? I've been everywhere! Is this one a bust? I'm suspicious of those two foreground graves. <clears throat> this is stupid! 
Well, what you're expecting? Something! It's just stupid! He didn't pop out of the ground or anything! Is, is that what you're expecting to happen? This is stupid! I'm gonna smash his shit up! Oh, dude, hold up now. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! Okay, that didn't sound right. Oh, shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Exactly. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes! Rocky, it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, it's a coffin. Oh, crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's just, it's just a skeleton at this point. He's not rotting anymore. We got a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, we're not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing it here. Oh, yes! Pause mode? Oh, yes! Okay. Okay. I got to three. Okay. One, two, three. Look, I love the trembling paw. You gotta open. You gotta open the thing. All right, Mr. Spooky Ghost. Oh, skull. It looks like a Binding of Isaac boss. Ah! So what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Oh shit, it's him. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. Do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. Yeah, come on, man. We gotta be inclusive with our ghosts. It was the groundskeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the gravekeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. I saw the effing ghost. Why does nobody believe me? Oh. Yeah, that's the cerebral hemorrhage right there. Oh, dang. What was that? Ah, Mary, what's wrong? Ah, holy crap. Uh, uh, my head. Jeez. Let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills. We can get you home. No! need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Go get in the car. God, man. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea what's going on? This ghost that's in my head. This ghost following me. I have no idea. Um. I don't, all of these seem equally valid. I'm gonna go with following me. Like, he keeps showing up when we go out to investigate it. Or all those times it could have just been a random person? That seems incredibly unlikely. No, I can, like, feel it. In my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe something is happening with you. I just don't know it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are, like, 50 better explanations for all of this. Like, what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and it makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently and I don't know. Stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is there. I know what I saw and if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's like, it's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's book. Or outlaws. Thank you. For believing me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering up there alone. At night. Close enough. Alright. Let's have some ghosts. Alright, well next time we're gonna hunt some goddamn ghosts, my friends.